10 ways to be soft and feminine even when you live a stressful life. There is so much talk nowadays about living a soft life, a stress-free life. Is it really possible to maintain your femininity and your softness even when you live a relatively stressful life? Well, absolutely yes, ladies. Please do not believe the myth that you have to have wealth, you have to have money in order to be able to live a soft life and most importantly, maintain your feminine energy. My wonderful elegance ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian and I'm the founder of Woman of Elegance, which is a platform I've created to help women globally become the most elegant, classy and refined women that they can be. If you haven't already done so, please do consider subscribing to this channel and sharing it with friends you think will benefit from it. So without further ado, let's discuss 10 ways you can be feminine and soft, even when you live a stressful life. Point number one, if there is an easy way to do something, follow that route. Have you ever heard the saying, nothing good comes easy? Well, guess what? This isn't exactly true. Why is it that we as women are programmed to think that in order to live a stress-free life, we need to suffer and struggle and work six jobs in order to? Believe me, this is a false narrative. It is a false notion that nothing good comes easy. Sometimes if something comes easy to us or without stress, we may become a little bit suspicious. We get this feeling that it's too good to be true. Is it that we believe we don't deserve good things without stress? Ladies, it's time to change this mindset. Sometimes you just have to pause and reconsider your strategy and logically evaluate how to sort out a problem with as less stress as possible. If there's an easy way to achieve something, then go for it. You don't have to go by popular opinion or the way everybody else is doing it. Find what works best for you and as long as it's ethical, stick with it. Point number two, have a positive mindset. Having a positive mindset involves choosing to think positively. Keep your hope alive, stay optimistic, remain courageous and think of yourselves and others with kindness. A positive mindset means not allowing yourself to give in to negativity or become hopeless when you find yourself in difficult situations. You need a positive mindset in order to stay soft and cheerful. A feminine woman with a positive mindset exudes a warm and attractive personality. Here are some tips to help you maintain a positive mindset. Practice gratitude all the time. Focus on the good things no matter how small they seem. Being grateful for what you have makes you hopeful and assured that better things are to come. Always affirm yourself positively. Before you step out each day, look in the mirror and make positive affirmations about the pretty woman you see. Look for positives in every situation, whether good or bad, and try to maintain a sense of humor in embarrassing situations. I know it's difficult, but having a sense of humor in these situations does make things better. Also, try not to internalize pain or hurt. Release it as fast as you can, learn your lessons and move on. Nip negative self-talk in the bud and switch to positive talk immediately. And finally, surround yourself with positive people. Avoid complainers. Points number three, adopt a feminine physical appearance. When you dress femininely, you will look and feel feminine. Wear dresses, skirts or blouse and accessories that are femininely cut and designed. Go for soft and smooth fabrics with lovely feminine colours, prints and patterns. Apply some makeup if this is something you like to do as it enhances your looks. Take good care of your skin, your hair and nails and practice good body grooming and make sure you smell good too. Your perfumes, deodorant or body spray should have a feminine fragrance. What you wear inwardly matters too, so stock up a nice underwear and lingerie that are for feminine women. Your shoes should also reflect this too. Ladies, I'm so excited to introduce you to a product called Luna 4 by a company called Pharrell. This device is an absolute game changer in the world of skincare. With a sleek and elegant design, 
this device is cutting edge when it comes to their features and what is more important is that it delivers results for a radiant skin and rejuvenated complexion i've started using this for a few weeks now and i can honestly say my skin has changed the look the tone the complexion is more even the powerful t-sonic pulsations of luna 4 are specifically engineered to deeply purify your skin and cleanse it with up to 10,000 pulsations per minute this revolutionary device effortlessly removes dirt oil and impurities from your pores leaving your skin feeling refreshed and invigorated one of the outstanding features of Luna 4 and the one that I love the most is its groundbreaking app connectivity. Simply connect the device to your smartphone via Bluetooth and proprietary technology will analyze your skin's specific needs. The incredible massage feature at the back helps to reduce fine lines and sagging, relaxes facial and neck muscle tension points and improves lymphatic drainage, targeting visible signs of aging. An app that provides you with a personalized skincare routine tailored to your skin type and gives you expert tips and tricks on how to achieve the best results for your complexion. Whether you have oily, dry or sensitive skin, the Luna 4 has you covered with its customizable settings and targeted treatments. The result is a visibly firmer, smoother and more youthful complexion that radiates with a natural glow. Guess what? This insert is waterproof so do not worry about getting water into this this is what amazes me about this product honestly by harnessing the power of advanced technology this groundbreaking tool transforms your complexion unveiling flawless and healthy skin say goodbye to dullness blemishes and signs of aging and embrace a radiant and youthful glow that will leave you feeling confident and beautiful point number four avoid casual sex the world is deceptively desensitized about sexual immorality these terms are subtly replaced with silly words that make immorality seem less grievous casual sex is now hookup culture adultery is now referred to as an open marriage perversion is really now overtaking humanity ladies do not let this cloud your judgment and deceive you into believing that you can do what you want with your body just because it's your body and you think you won't face any consequences the truth still remains that sexual immorality or whatever you want to call it destroys you inside and out it destroys your body and your self-esteem Sexual immorality can have devastating consequences that rob you of your well-being and your peace of mind and body. It leads to low self-worth and regret, humiliation, insecurity, depression, decreased self-esteem, anxiety, feeling used, dependency, identity issues, broken relationships, and the list goes on. Not to talk about the risks of STIs and unplanned pregnancies. Wouldn't you agree that it's really hard to stay soft and feminine with all this baggage? Life is stressful enough, so why make it worse? Now this brings me to my next point. Point number five, casual sex makes you less feminine. Sex is way more than mere skin-to-skin -skin connections. It engages the two people involved hormonally, neurologically and psychologically. It creates an intense mental, emotional and physical bond between them. So whether it's a one-time fling or a long-term commitment, sex bonds just the same way. This is why some people find it so hard to move on after a failed sexual relationship. This is because a strong bond has been created. People who have multiple sexual partners develop severe identity issues and a battered self-worth because they've lost a sense of self. You need your individuality to live femininely and whole. Moreover, having sexual encounters with different men practically involves bonding and breaking, bonding and breaking. And progressively, your ability to bond weakens more and more, making it difficult for you to open up and to love. At this point, a woman becomes hardened and unreceptive to true love. She becomes guarded, readily willing to give her body, but not her heart. Her femininity suffers all the more because a feminine woman opens up her heart to love and to be loved. Think of a cut. 
When the skin heals, it's no longer the same. It becomes hard and calloused. And this is what happens to our hearts when it is cut over and over again. We become hardened, guarded and bitter. Just avoid casual sex because it saves you so much pain in the long run. Do not buy into this toxic culture of casual sex, of hookup culture. Point number six, reset your priorities. Life comes in stages and our priorities change at each stage. Focusing on the priorities of your present stage helps to minimize stress and worries. As much as you can, please stop worrying about the future and heal and let go of the past and concentrate on what you must do now. Yesterday is gone, why spoil your now with the past? Tomorrow is not guaranteed, so why destroy the joy of today worrying about the future? Today is here, so optimize and live your life to the fullest. Point number seven, being vulnerable is not a weakness. Some individuals wrongly interpret vulnerability to mean weakness. Some women, not wanting to appear weak, avoids anything that might make them appear vulnerable. They shield their hearts, they hide their emotions and act hard and tough. Now you need to clearly understand that vulnerability is more of a strength than a weakness. It's a sign that you're open-minded, have a healthy self-worth and you are not afraid to be you. People who protect themselves from feeling vulnerable are scared of being themselves and they fear other people's judgment and would rather mask their emotions and put up a front. A feminine woman is vulnerable. To be feminine, you need to accept your emotions and not be ashamed to express how you feel. Being able to be in tune with your emotions and unashamed to express them makes you soft and feminine. Your attempts to play the hard woman and protect yourself from hurt or shame will prevent you from enjoying life. I'm not saying that you should open up your hearts to anybody, but strike that balance. That shield that you carry keeps others from seeing the real you, isolates yourself from others, steals your womanhood and prevents you from experiencing love, joy and empathy. Take corrections, say how you feel and speak out your fears. Vulnerability is not a weakness. Please just remember that vulnerability isn't about allowing your emotions to spill all over the place and saying whatever comes to your mind or oversharing. This is not being vulnerable. Point number eight, stop being aggressive and defensive. Some women are too aggressive towards others. This could be the result of past hurt or trauma or perhaps the way we were raised. Some women act aggressively on impulse without the intention of harming others, but merely to protect themselves. However, being aggressive makes you appear hard, hostile and unapproachable. You need to be less aggressive to attract positive people to yourself. Trying to treat others how you would want them to treat you can help you to soften up. Likewise, some people are in the habit of always being on the defensive. This is probably no fault of theirs as psychologists note that defensive people do so out of fear of rejection or abandonment or humiliation or failure. Improving your communication and social skills can help as well as dealing with the shame, guilt or hurt from the past. Learn to think rationally before you speak or act. Take it easy on accusing others and try to take responsibility for your actions or inactions. Point number nine, find ways to relax and ease off stress. Love yourself and don't let certain situations and circumstances swallow you up. Take life easy and adopt a more flexible approach and relaxed approach to life. Take a day at a time and avoid stressing about tomorrow. Remember to prioritize your self-care also. You really need to take care of yourself. This is a priority. Focusing on the important things and letting go of unnecessary burdens will help you not to get too overwhelmed with life. Create boundaries around your life and learn to say no when you have to. Connect and build meaningful relationships with other people. And remember to be grateful for and content with what you have as this is a good way to relax and stay at ease. Point number 10, cultivate a soft and feminine body language. If your aim is to be more feminine, then you have to adopt having feminine grace. Your dressing, 
posture, demeanor, speech and poise must reflect a soft and feminine nature. Learn how to walk elegantly and with a womanly gait. Speak softly, gently and with refined grace. Keep your body relaxed whilst talking and use soft, feminine and flowy hand gestures. Maintain good feminine body posture at all times. Be conscious of your body language, making sure that it portrays that of a soft and feminine lady. My wonderful Elegance ladies, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's encouraged you to be more feminine and soft, even if you live a stressful life. Thank you very much for watching.